Hey there, everybody. It is Monday, March 23rd, 2020, and Monday means Pioneer League. So let's take a look at today's league dump. There are 34 decks in the league today. So let's take a look. All right, our first one looks like uh, the Sultai deck. Uh, Tamiyo in the uh, main deck now. She's been getting more and more play lately. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much your uh, Swedish Sultai, Sultai midrange, uh, the Jund of the format. Burley brings us Spirits. This is the Blue White Spirits. Uh, this is more aggressive Staggering Insight and Curious Obsession uh, for the card draw. Uh, yeah, this one is definitely less disruptive as Bant Spirits and more on the aggro plan. Rubino 08 with the uh, Hidden Strings Lotus Field combo deck. Um, no, looks like this one's trying to win with Expansion Explosion. I don't see, or milling out your opponent, I guess because I don't see the um, uh, the Merfolk, Thassa's Oracle in the deck. But we got Jace in the... Oh, okay, you're, you're, you're wishing for Jace to win that way. Got it. Okay. Uh, Unliving Fiend. Unliving Fiend, you misspelled your username. There's no E in living. Uh, we've got Mono Red. This is, this, it, well, it's not mono red, it's Atarka red. It's splashing green for Atarka. Goreclam Rampager. Oh, I love that card. Galia. Mon, uh, red green aggro. This is, this is the low to the ground red green deck. Uh, good old Atarka red. QB Turtle 15 with red black. This is a little more disruptive of a deck here. Four Thoughtseize, four Discovery Dispersal, four Croxa. Uh, definitely going for the uh, hand disruption aspect of things. But uh, yeah, a little bit bigger than the last deck, and black red going after the hand instead of purely the life total. Uh, Azax, Azax here with Demir Inverter. And yeah, Demir Inverter. Marolanzi with Harden Scales. Green Black. Uh, Nissa, Rishkar, Experiment One, all your countery goodness. Uh, I think we saw this last dump. Uh, but good to see it coming back. This was one of the uh, the early decks in the format. And it's back now. Baymax. Uh That movie's a great movie. I'm trying Big Hero Six, something like that. Uh, good movie if you haven't seen it. Uh, what do we got here? We have a gruesome menagerie deck. This is a Nantuko Husk Coco sort of combo. Do we have any infinite combo? Zulaport Cutthroat. I would expect Rally the Ancestors in something like this, but I'm not seeing it. Um, but yeah, this is just a black-green aristocrat sort of deck with Coco to find your stuff. Uh, Gruesome Menagerie, I guess, here is taking the place of Rally of the Ancestors. Okay, I can see that. It gets three creatures back and you've got your killing things that match up to that. Okay. That might be kind of... If you're into... Uh, graveyard shenanigans like you will get with Aristocrats or the Rally of the Ancestors stuff. Take a look at this. You might like that deck. Tyler Prime here with uh, Golgari Stompy. Running Regisaur, Ronus. This one's got the Horn Beetles. Um, one Galta for Coco. Yep. Golgari Stompy. Edward Forty Hands playing a 60 card format. Uh, he is running, looks like, is this is Green Black Traverse? Green Black Delirium? Ishkana, 
Traverse the Ulvenwald. Any other Delirium payoffs? A Tassiger. Good to see Tassiger getting some play. Pelucranos. You know, this is this is sort of a black green rock style deck, a little creature heavy for that, but four thoughtsies, getting stuff back, four pushes. Um, if you play Black Green Rock in Modern, you won't be too uh, unfamiliar with this deck. Indian Pancake with another Black Red deck. This one is a little less uh, reanimating, but it's still... This is a Black Red mid-range... Yeah, this is... This is the black-red version of the black-green deck we just saw, sort of, uh, in, in a lot of respects. It's just trying, it's board control, trying to win with Croxes and Chandra's. Maybe Liliana of the Lost Hope, depending on how things play out. Lean brings us Kethis Combo. Yeah. Mox Ambers, Oath of Kaya. Uh, just trying to kill you with constantly recasting things out of the graveyard. Antonio has Feather. Good old Feather. Uh, nothing too out of the ordinary here. Cares has an expertise on the side. That's kind of cool. But yeah, Feather. Uh, Parko's Apple with a heavy Planeswalker deck. Just Guy Walkers. I think we saw something like this last week. Um, I'm sure the Planeswalker mix has changed since that deck. But uh, yeah, this is all a Jeskai thing. Sarkhan the Masterless to turn all your Planeswalkers into dragons and try to kill you that way. Arcanus Restored with blue-white control. Uh, lots of countery stuff in the instance. Verdicts, one Gear Hulk is the only creature. Getting into the Trials is also another creature. Um, three Teferi Hero of Dominaria. That's making a statement. Yep, Blue White Control from Arcanus Restored. Marcio Matthew is playing Mono Black Aggro. This is not Vampires, this is not Zombies, this is Mono Black Aggro. The, uh, what is it? Two Spawn of Mayhem, okay, as your top end. Otherwise, it's mostly one drops, a couple one twos and threes. Thoughts, he's fatal push, and then just aggressive creatures. Uh, still want to play this deck when we finally get to play in paper again. Ariane, a 5 0 with. Uh, this is the blue green ramp deck. Uh, oh, unexpected results. Okay. Yep. Uh, so it's a ramp deck that can cast this stuff if it needs to, the Emrakul, the Ulamog, and the Ugans, but it would prefer not to. Uh, it would prefer to reveal them with unexpected results and get to cast them for free. So, yeah, this is... There's a, there's a number in a number of different formats. There's decks like this that just try to cheat out big stuff, and that's what they're doing here. Mav 807 with the Monogreen Walkers deck. And this is a pretty straightforward build. I don't see anything weird here, except maybe two Voyaging Satyrs. I'd have to go back and look at the numbers on what the other builds have been. That feels low, but I could be wrong. One Tireless Trekker main, I haven't seen that too much. Uh, it'd be interesting to try that in the Hardened Scales deck, actually. Maybe it was in the sideboard. Scalo 94 with Niv-Mizzet Reborn. Niv-Mizzet Bring to Light. The absurd mana base that those decks always have. Uh, Oath of Kaya, Enter the God Eternals, and he's not running Hostage Taker, uh, nor is he running it in the side. One Nahiri uh, to help search up and cheat out Nivs. Uh, Uro is great in the deck. Two Gilded Goose is a little bit of an unusual choice here. You don't see that very often. Um, they've been going with sometimes Sylvan Caryatids. But, uh, yeah. Five color Niv. The Jay Kendrick. Playing Mono Red. The Torbran build. No 
ember cleaves. This is just get you dead red. Yep. Straightforward. Chandra Torch of Defiance and Torbrand, the only four drops. Yeah, that's just, that's mono red. H. Gondolon with Jeskai Ascendancy. And Sylvan Awakening to turn all your stuff, your lands into creatures. This this is a great great pairing right here. Yeah, it makes you four colors, but when all your lands are creatures and then everything you cast untaps all your creatures, that's, that's a thing. Um, yeah, just guys didn't see another combo deck here. Zeth 4 with uh, Possibility Storm deck. Haven't seen this one in a bit. Enter the Infinite. Yeah, I have not seen that deck in a while. Uh, another, it, on the same lines as the Unexpected Results deck, this is trying to cheat things out. Uh, possibility Storm, when you cast a spell from your hand, e either player, they exile it, exile cards from the top of the library until you exile a card that shares a type with it, then you can cast that one. So ideally what you're trying to do is cast something really cheap, flip over until you get something more expensive. But this is pretty aggressive. Um, I'm a little surprised to see Enter the Infinite being the only sorcery in the deck. That feels a little odd to me. Um, unless there is... No, uh, okay, Lovestruck Beast, Heart's Desire is a sorcery. So I believe when Possibility Storm is in play and you cast Lovestruck Beast, you are going to end up casting Enter the Infinite because that's the only sorcery in the deck. Okay, I can see that. Cool. Bob the Builder 24 with another blue-white control deck. And yeah, I'm not a control player. That's a blue-white control deck. If you like that sort of thing, take a look. Viola with... This looks like uh, Esper Control. Yeah, I don't see anything that would say otherwise. Esper Control. So yet another control deck here. This one's got Kaya, Scarab God, some of... Oath of Kaya, a few uh, black removal. Uh, we got thought seizes. We have, yeah, three thought seizes. So, if you want a little hand disruption in your control deck, take a look at this Esper build. Snow Air with Young Pyro. It's almost a prowess deck. Oh, Phoenix. Okay, blue red Phoenix. Yep, blue red Phoenix. With young Pyro, it's not. Um, Thing in the Ice kind of fell out of favor in that deck. Um, good to see this coming back. I'm I'm happy to see this get a 5 0. Arclight Phoenix has not been around in a while. And uh, yeah, that's cool to see. Envy Goblin is playing Spirits. Come on, man. Your username's Goblins. You should be playing Goblins. Uh, this is Bant Spirits with the Coco and more of the disruptive stuff. Gilded Goose is interesting here, trying to ramp out those co uh, Cocos earlier. Uh, but yeah, Bant Spirits, this is... We've seen it. It's one of the top four or five decks in the format. Uh, Heliod. Heliod combo here with a Dragonlord Ojitai. Um... Just in case things don't go your way. A little flying blocker and some card selection. Yeah. That is Heliod combo. The Gins with Mono White Aggro. Yep. Uh, well, I guess Red White because we've got the Bushwhackers here. Bomat Courier. Yeah. This, this might be the lowest to the ground deck in the dump so far. This one's smaller than the uh, mono red deck we saw earlier. Domeka with Elder Deep Fiend. This is, is this Teamer? Looks like Teamer. Teamer Deep Fiend. In standard, when this was a deck, it was thought to be the hardest deck to play in the format. I can imagine that this is somewhat similar. Um, the timing on when and how to emerge Elder Deep Fiend is always a challenge. 
uh, yeah, this this would be if you want all your if you want a lot of decisions to make in a match, take a look at this deck, and then you know you get five six Eldrazi's and an Emrakul on top of it and four Auroras. Junpa five oh six with Bushwhacker. This is gob. This is goblins. Dragon fodder. Heroic reinforcements. Yeah, this is a goblins deck. Bomat courier is the only non-goblin creature in the deck. I played against a deck. I think the last time I got to play Pioneer and Paper. Maybe the next to last time, before the lockdowns. Um, I played against a guy who was running. A deck similar to this, only he was bigger on the Goblin Token Producers and was playing Impact Trimmers. And boy, I'll tell you, that deck was scary and explosive. If you want something like this, but want even more explosiveness, take a look at an Impact Trimmers build. Uh, go, Brian, go. No, go, Brian. Uh, with another Heliod combo deck... This one is a little more on the combo side. It does not have... This one's mono-white. It's not blue-white. So uh, we don't have the Dragonlord Ojitais or anything like that. Uh, this is your mono-white Heliod deck. Uh, one of the top decks in the format, definitely. Uh, Yumi Mana with Sultai mid-range. Not really control, not really... Definitely not aggro, um, but Sultai mid, it's trying to steal your stuff. This is a stop hitting yourself deck. Um, Gonti, Hostage Taker, Silumgar, Thief of Sanity, Ashiok. Uh, this is new Ashiok, not original Ashiok. Though OG Ashiok, uh, down here in the sideboard, yep, would be perfect in this deck. Um, assuming you're going against a creature. And that that's... That's probably why it's in the sideboard, is you do need to be playing against a creature deck for her to, uh, for Ashiok to be good. Um, yeah, this this is this would be fun. Uh, we've my uh, commander play group has a Gonti player in it, and that deck is always fun when it hits the table. You just never really know what's going to happen. Uh, line open with Insole Artifact. Okay, here. I was hoping to see an Insole Artifact deck in the dump. Figured we would, and here it is. Uh, doesn't look to maybe tweak the numbers a little bit. I don't see anything too out of the ordinary here. And our last deck in the dump today is Ram Auras, the Orzhov Auras deck. Uh, one Brain Maggot main. That's a bit of a change. I'm hearing a little buzz around Brain Maggot. People are starting to play it uh, in a couple of different... Uh, types of deck. Uh, it is an enchantment, so it triggers all those things. It pumps your all the glitters, etc., etc. Um, but it's also a creature, so you know Dovin's Veto doesn't hit it. So it's a it's a good way to uh, get some hand disruption in creature form, if that's what you need. And hey, it'll it'll wear pants, so you can uh, pump it up and attack with it. Uh, that's looks like it's about it for today's build. Uh, looked like a pretty representative list. I didn't see anything too out of the ordinary. Um, and all the main players were there. So yeah, straightforward dump. And that's it. We'll see you tomorrow with Modern. Thanks. Bye-bye.